know him. I knows him, Uncle Charlie. I sing about him in a song. Uncle Charlie got kind of quiet and like he thinking about what I just done said. And then he asked me, you do? I says, I sings about it all the time in the fields. I ain't give him time to say another word because I just starts to singing. Then blind man Charlie, he starts to play in his fiddle with me. And tears start coming down from his eyes, and I asking him, "What you crying for? Ain't nobody being whipped or dead." He held his head up to the sky, and he saying, "No, child, your voice, our nose are blind." But I'm still living, and you're singing. Well, it just helped to heal my sorrow. See, I love reading so much that I disobeyed Mistress Jennings. And one day I went to the hills and was reading that Bible. When it got back to Mistress Jennings, she ain't had no choice. She just stood there crying. She seen me. The overseer, he done called out all of the niggas and made me stand in front of everybody on the plantation. And he said, this is what happens to you niggas when you try to read. Then he put a stick in the fire and everybody even me thought he was going to burn me on my body, but he burnt my eyes out instead. It was the most painful thing I ever done felt. My mistress Jenny, she's so kind to me and she's still keeping me in the house though. All I could do was wash the dishes and I ain't reading ever again, so. She done went out and got me a fiddle. And she taught me how to play it. And I've been playing it ever since. After Mistress Jen has done die, I was auctioned off to Master Butler. And here I am staying and I'm gonna stay right here on this plantation till the day I die. Cause Master Butler he makes a lot of money off of me. He ain't gonna let me go nowhere. Not as long as I keep being a good nigga. I guess that's a good thing, but I was wondering what he gonna do to me when I gets too old to play the fiddle. Lord. The tears starts to pour down my face. It was one of the saddest stories I done ever heard. I ain't ever want anybody to teach me to read or even to write, cause I ain't want nobody to burn my eyes out. Something terrible about being blind. I, I just ain't understand how they...